Hey, what's up guys? The here again. Welcome back to the Red Rising mod and of course our post-apocalyptic series. I'm sorry that I haven't been doing this in a while. It actually takes uh, quite some time to set some of these scenarios up. Uh, it's not just about spawning units and having them fight each other. It's about adding a lot of scenery and scripting and sort of creating diversity. We don't really have any uniform units on the field. They all are pretty unique as you'll notice. I'll probably spend an hour on just creating the, the soldiers and armies for the different factions that we have on the field today. Today we've actually got four opponents and I'm pretty excited about this because you can probably tell New Russia is actually going to be part of this and uh, they are going to make an entry. Now in the last video we saw the um, well the followers of Yermak kind of go insane after the recent attack on their base and they actually struck a, a city uh, that belonged belang or i guess belonged used to belong to i guess this works too i guess <laughs> uh to the uh uh well i guess it's called the commonwealth nowadays yeah not the novgorod republic and they took it and executed a bunch of people and the novgorod republic struck back used some of their btr 90 pre-war equipment that survived that they stole from the new order who then also of course took their capital previously so the commonwealth has been you know through a very rush not a rush, a stressful and rusty start, so to speak, as a new faction. And here we have a checkpoint, somewhere in the Novgorod region. Um, not quite sure where, actually, but it's a good idea uh, to, to mention that. We uh, are somewhere near the capital. I'm not quite sure where, but we're all sort of in the same area. A couple of hours to drive from each video. Uh, we don't want to jump across Europe or the world to another place yet. I might do a post-apocalyptic one in America because that place was obviously also nuked during the war. Maybe Western Europe. Um, it all comes down to maps and scenery. But here we have a small Novgorod Republic checkpoint. You can house some civilians here. There's some places to sleep. There's a church in here with ammunitions and food. It's a quick small checkpoint but quite well armed because this is in very hostile territory. Now over the last week since that purge happened in that city, um, that, that used to belong to the Novgorod Republic, or at least still does, and it's actually part of the Commonwealth now, so I'm going to stop saying Novgorod Republic, because it is the Commonwealth nowadays. Um, after that, that attack was, was done to them, and after they cleaned up the city, um, small sections of Ru new Russian soldiers have been appearing, and people have, the word has kind of spread out, people are understanding this is actually the survivors of Russia, because there were rumors that obviously there were bunkers, and obviously a lot of soldiers and politicians and important people and tech and scientists and everything that you'd need to run a good country went there. And now they've emerged after a year, that's when the scientists have said that radiation is gone, that's when their sensors have said it's, it's clear to go out now, we can move out. And over the last week or two, they have been appearing, and it's usually been violent. Uh, these guys have, like, ordered to shoot and kill pretty much everything. Perhaps, who knows, maybe they have, like, the, the number 1% Russian elite back in those bunkers, or 10% or whatever, that they want to send out and repopulate parts of the world with. Checkpoint. They've just arrived up here because they didn't really think about go up here and hit this place up. It's likely it's extremely well defended. It's not well defended, but it is defended. It's got machine guns and lots of guys. So four bandits taking on like a Commonwealth checkpoint. Not very likely. We also have a favorite in return or whatever you want to call it. This is the lone sniper. Do you guys remember him? We saw this guy some time ago um, during Wasteland Stories. He's back. He killed a couple of people back then. I think he killed like three mercs. And then just continued walking. He's got himself an SR-25. Silenced. Stack toy. Stack toy. We'll see what he does. He's in the picture. He's just right serving this plot spot. He might think to himself, Oh, I count six, seven, eight armed people. I can take them all out. You never know. This guy's a fucking badass. So let's click start. We're about to hit that five minute mark, which we already have, by the way. And what we have here is a reinforcement patrol kind of thing. Or whatever you want to call it. Oh. I don't know where they're heading, but they're... Well, I know where they're heading, but not there. I think we're going to go off-road. These guys are heading to that checkpoint to reinforce. So this is kind of frontline territory, frontier, with New Russia. I guess not so many followers of Yermak since they're kind of all dead now. Definitely not uh, New Order, because they're all bunked up, bunkered up in the capital. But bandits and other rascals that the Commonwealth needs to keep an eye on. They don't have many other big enemies except, I guess, you know, New Order is gonna, or New New Order and the New Russia is gonna be their main concern. Oh shit, and they're carrying important documents too. 
Go, go, go. Get that truck to the checkpoint. Move. I don't know if the bandits... I don't know if the bandits made a clever choice there of attacking that truck. I don't think they appreciated the amount of security forces inside of it. Nah, they're legging it. Damn it, Igor. You and your terrible fucking ideas are going to get us killed. I'm out of here. Said one guy. He's back there, I guess. This is Igor. <laughs> Igor has got an M16. Cool uh, Ray Bans that he found. And a beret. He wants to be American. These bandits, I don't know, they just want to get rich and live, I guess. Oh, he doesn't want to be an American, but he likes Hollywood, you know, or whatever's left of it, or was Hollywood music, mu movies, movie stars, Brad Pitt. He's <laughs> probably dead by now, anyway. He probably died before the war. I don't know how old he is now, or, well, this is 20. 30 or 2020 or something. So no, he's probably not dead. <laughs> I'm talking crap. Well, the security forces are still <laughs> gonna be fighting back. Brad Pitt, Sean Penn. Howdy howdy, stalker. I got a shotgun here. Oh, I think some of the base security is like, yeah, what the fuck's going on? Or the mercs who were hired. They gotta do their job too. These guys are probably wondering, what the hell? How did our sentries not pick that up? These guys have obviously heard what's going on. Being new Russia and being <laughs> trust, you can't trust problem. You know, I read somewhere that the Swedish army might be replacing the current AK-5 C and D with F-2000, FN F-2000. Isn't that sick? By 2020, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, that's that's for real. I'm not shitting. It's a very futuristic weapon. Kind of not so rigid. I've had the I fired and, and used the AK-5 C for a couple of days. Back in the army. Uh, or well, not in the army, I guess. Well, the recruiter, whatever you want to call it. The drill. The drill school. Drill tam. We can go into detail about that. Don't want to sit here and answer a million questions. Because I'll get into that and I'll start talking about everything. And then we'll off track ourselves from the video. So, they actually came in and they fucked up these security forces, guys. That's horrible. Uh, Igor's alive and I think most of his friends are too. But they're going to... Oh! That's some experimental weaponry going off right here. Look at that guy. So yeah, we've got a... There's going to be an attack on a checkpoint here. And we're kind of controlling these guys because they're not scripted. So I got to give them some orders. But they're coming in in big kill squads here. But so yeah, hi hidden in underground bunkers. Technologically advanced. They want to come up here and they know they can't trust these people who have been living on the surface in poverty and pain. They might just backstab these guys. They can't peacefully come in here and start occupying land. They need to kill, clean, and replace. Much like the New Order and how they kind of think about things. Except they're fake. They're wannabes. Igor's dead and his <laughs> fellow band of robbers are shot down too. Most of them through the or by the security forces down here. So that's horrible. That happened so quickly. These four guys were caught off guard completely. We didn't see them die, but we saw these guys fire, and I figured they're firing at something. I didn't expect it to go down that quick, though. They're going to split squads. One guy's, one squad's actually going to come up here through the church. I'm not... I don't think these guys have heard the firefight. I'm going to send a guard out here just for... You know, they have people on rotation, right? Oh, look. He's heard the firefight, though. He's scanning. He's like, well, I'm going to give this a try. Dude, be careful. Mr. Lone Sniper guy is probably going to get fucked. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck back. I'm seriously trying to make you look cool here, okay? Don't fucking start shooting at these guys. You're going to die. Sorry about the swearing. Ugh. Oh, I was shut down. Yeah, they've got experimental weaponry. What do you think about that, huh? You hear that? That's literally like 50 caliber explosive rounds. And here are civilians getting gunned down trying to run out. This is going to be a bad day. And it's going to be the first of many videos to come where we get to see uh, the Wastelanders go up against the New Order. This guy's been shot. Or not New Order. Um... What do you call it? Yes! 
Oh my god, what a fucking ace. Sniper guy's at it again. It's gonna be a bit of a three three uh three v three kind of thing here. Oh man, I thought these were gunned down. I was like, who killed all these new Russian soldiers? That is literally insane. We're moving in for it. These guys know they're under attack. They got soldiers remaining. Not too not too many though. These guys are turned around. Oh shit! Oh man! The attack is on. New Russia's going for it. They got people in the church now. Oh man. Oh fuck. Hold oh, body's gone. <laughs> It's like an eye for an eye here going on. Oh, I don't know if you want to dare go around the corner here. This guy's going to blast you. Fitty cow. Oh! Oh, knocked down. Grenade, guys. Watch out. Well, that just happened. Knocked out some of the equipment. There's one guy still here. Is he hiding? You got a shotgun, dude. Oh. Apparently there's someone back here, too. <laughs> They're just fucking shit up. They've lost five guys, though, trying to take this place, which they have. Section 1, 2, command. Base controlled. And secured. So we're going to do something cool here. There we go. They've just secured this place. So this is a bit of a day in the wasteland kind of thing. This is what happens. It's not one of those major battles. It is just a thing that happens. This guy just saw it. Wait, what happened to your SR-25? He's got his Colt 45 up. He's like, nah, not worth my time. If I was a sniper, which I'm not. I just think this guy's cool. And I want him to get away. He's observed and he's gonna try his luck elsewhere. He couldn't quite he couldn't quite abuse the situation and take advantage of it. Uh because he wouldn't be sure that the people he'd be going into attack with would be too friendly against him once they killed the defenders, which they did, so. Nasty business, guys. Living here on the surface in Nov the Novgorod region. It's not an easy life. Did they kill the driver? Yeah, he probably got out. That's painful, dude. Lots of casualties today. But that's just the day in the wasteland. In the next video, if you guys want, I think we're going to watch as the... I think New Russia is going to attack the capital. Uh, and try and grab it from the New Order. <clears throat> Bit of a voice crack there. It's super late. It's like 3.30 here in the evening. Or in the night, actually, in the morning. I'm recording this for you guys. Just uh, want to really get this out. Hope you, sen hope you guys enjoyed. A little, little, little speech impediment, right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. I thought it was pretty cool. Had some ambushes, some fights. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you want and we can take the series further. Until then, you guys enjoy. It's been a pleasure. See you guys next time. Bye.